Hello everybody. I'm Asadu Zaman Biswas. Today I came to discuss about uh, JavaScript and uh, today I like to show you uh, how to create a Fibonacci series using your JavaScript. So firstly, I like to discuss about uh, what uh, uh, Fibonacci series is like this. Suppose uh, this is one, one, one. If you do summation, then result will be two, right? Now, if you add this one with two, then the result will be three. Now, if you add this two and three, the result will be five. If you add now this 3 and 5, the result will be 8. If you add this 5 and 8, the result will be 13. If you add this 8 and 13, the result will be 21. This type of series is actually known as Fibonacci series. And uh, today I will show you using JavaScript how we can create such a uh, series, right? So let us write down script, uh, then language, then language is JavaScript. So this is the starting of a script, and this is the end of script. Okay, fine. So now we will uh, generate this Fibonacci series. So let us start it let us take few variables no first is one and uh, inside one we can give some value zero we can start zero then uh, inside b we can uh, store one and this A and B uh, is representing these numbers actually, right? And to store the summation, we can take another variable that is your F. And let us keep something inside this variable that is 0, right? So here we can write in this way 0, 1. In this way, we can write 0. If we add 0, 1, it will be 1. If we add this 1, 1, this will be 2. If we add this 1, 2, the result will be 3. In this way, actually, the Fibonacci series is uh, created. Now, look, uh, let us, uh, cal let us uh, calculate or let us decide what will be the length of the Fibonacci series. Suppose if you like to generate this type in this Fibonacci series, then uh, uh, how many numbers are there in here? So uh, we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So uh, we will now make a loop, right? Okay, fine. This is the loop and this loop will start for, from suppose here this loop will start from 0 and length of our series is 9 so we will rotate it uh, up to 9 and each rotation your i will be incremented 1 right ok fine so what we will do now Okay, we will write down f equal to whatever inside a will be added with b, right? Okay, after that, we will change the numbers of a and b, right? So, inside a, we like to store whatever inside b, right? And inside b, that means this B will store whatever inside F, right? Okay, fine. Now it will generate a series actually. Hmm. Uh, so we can take one thing, one variable more here. We can take one variable more here to store the series. Okay, so 
and here we can write x plus uh, x equal to x plus f okay okay fine sorry x equal to x plus x equal to you can write in this way not x x plus equal to here we can store whatever inside a along with that we can use a comma here to separate the numbers okay so now let us check what we are getting after uh, executing the loop what the result we are getting inside x so I will use it a lot and we'll see what is inside X. So let us go to output and check it. Look, this is the Fibonacci series generated one, one, uh, then two, three, two plus one, three, three plus two, five, five plus three, eight. 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 and 21 plus 13 34 so here we are getting the Fibonacci series so we can write it in this way uh, the series is the Fibonacci Fibonacci series is here series is we can write something like this here okay and so if we go to output good look this is the Fibonacci series that we generated here so I think you understand what I'm saying about you can do one thing uh, you can make this uh, length of series dynamic by taking the from box all right suppose you can write it in this way now equal to you can take here a prompt box prompt okay what the level will we'll use here enter the length of Fibonacci series okay so whatever the length will be given by the user will be stored inside num so here we can write in converting this num into integer uh, we can write here percent <coughs> num so now we can check the output we are getting now Okay, we can write it here in any number. Like here, in the length of this series is five. Uh, we can give here another number that is your seven length of series, and the the Fibonacci series is generated up to seven number. Right. So in this way, we can make a Fibonacci series. So I think you understand what I discuss today about Fibonacci cities so uh, for today goodbye everybody I'll meet you I'll come in with some uh, new topics of JavaScript in my next tutorial so for today goodbye everybody